my name is beloved Ola Jendai. I currently live in Harlem, not too far from here at Riverton um, Square, and I'm a Create Change resident um, for 2014 The Laundromat Project. My Create Change project is called Harlem on My Mind 2. It's an oral history project. I describe it as a participatory documentary. And what we've done is set up a recording booth, voila, out here in front of the laundromat here in Harlem where I have this opportunity to engage my neighbors by asking them what do they love most about Harlem. And it's an invitation for them to share their stories about their favorite places, their fondest memories, their connection to Harlem, whether it's its history, um, its culture, its legacy. Um, and um, the intention, as my, myself being an artist, is to take those responses, those narratives, and blend them together to make a soundscape, a collage that I can share as part of the documentary and the culmination event this fall. My project for the Laundry Project is occurring here in Harlem. Um, my connection for me is, um, starts with family. My mother and her siblings were born and are raised in Harlem um, before moving to Queens, where, where I was born. And so I kind of always grew up with Harlem being part of the fa family lore. Um, and now, I live in Harlem. You know, my, both my wife and I, we've been here about five years. My son is born in Harlem, and I call Harlem home. And um, I remember living in Brooklyn for 10 years, and I kind of felt like the only person I knew was the person that lived at the laundromat, you know, that worked at the laundromat. And um, I hear of this opportunity with this project, with this residency, to kind of build and create, um, you know, community with my own neighbors where I live to deepen some of those relationships, because I, I intend to stay here as, much, as long as I can, at least. Um, I remember our very first exchange came from someone who I didn't know at the time was connected to the laundromat. You know, that he's lived in this community for 40 years, he knew the family that owns the, the laundromat. We said, well, maybe we should invite him to an interview. And he was like, no, no, I have no time for that, I can't do that, no. And in that same breath, he started rattling off, you know, point by point, some of the history of almost every establishment we, up and down here for the, you know, in like a three block radius. This used to be a vacant space, this was abandoned. This was where so-and-so had gotten shot. You know, this is where Ho Chi Minh, you know, was a waiter at this. You can see where Sylvia's is over there. You know, I'm just like, oh my gosh. And he kept talking for like 20 minutes. You know, I'm like, you don't want to be interviewed. And he's giving us the whole, you know, this whole living history that, you know, which is part of the basis and, you know, design of this project. And I realized at the end of the day that he was willing to share us that with us as long as it was off the record. And part of it had to do with trust and building relationships. And for me, that was like, you know, the, the home, you know, the, the, that sign that, that that's where it's at. You know, I'm act I know I'm asking this question to folks who are passing through and participating in the workshop, but you know, this is a question that I that I've really been invested in, like what makes Harlem Harlem? And you know, for me, there's, there's, I'm not sure if there's one definitive answer or response for that. And um, I'm, I, I really do get the sense that more than I'm to speak to people, people experience Harlem differently. You know, and even if they're living in the same building, living in an apartment one door from each other, their experience of Harlem is, can be very, very different.